justice if new employees receive the same wages as more experienced ones. As far as the minimum wage is concerned, a balance has to be achieved between what they aim for in terms of providing protection for the people and the interest of the other party, which is the employers. There are concerns that the minimum wage will lead to higher prices. Egyptian food prices rocketed more than 12% over the last year, with analysts pointing to a perfect storm of problems including stalled domestic production, poor market regulations and high import bills fed by a faltering Egyptian pound and soaring global energy costs. Also surging and affecting consumer bills at the supermarket is the price of domestic food production. Productivity is a still a fraction of its pre-revolution rate, with a limited agricultural subsidies program failing to cap ever-increasing overheads. The January 25th revolution, which led to the toppling of former President Hosni Mubarak, was largely triggered by the soaring price of food protests, unemployment and demands for democratic reforms. still watching the daily debate and the Egyptian interim government was obliged to make a series of uh, popular socially oriented decisions in the new budget after the revolution. One of the main decisions was fixing 700 Egyptian pounds as the minimum wage. We'll be discussing whether this is enough or not with our guest here in the studio, the economic expert, Mr. Mohammed Al Alfi. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Mr. Al Alfi. My pleasure. Uh, first of all, is this the right decision to tackle the problem of, pro of poverty here in Egypt? Unfortunately, this uh, talk, if you will talk about the, the, the minimum wage is 700 pounds, uh, so our uh, normal people can't reach uh, even uh, 100 uh, euro per, per month. That's a, uh, I'm sorry, that's a silly talk. But uh, we, we shouldn't concentrate on the uh, minimum uh, wage. We should concentrate on the net income for each person that will be useful to talk about it but if they will give us a talk or send or or issue the, the daily statements uh, the the minimum wage were uh, 450 and we, we we increase it 250 to be uh, uh, 700 and that is cost the main budgets uh, 7.5 uh, billions egyptian bound that's all this talk it's a uh, 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 is, is not the talk of the professional people would like to create a real economy. Hmm. Yeah. But has it been set in different parts of the world, in different countries? Have they set different <coughs> minimum wages to deal with the issue of poverty? And how successful were such attempts? Uh, anyway, anyway, we, we, uh, we will look to, to, to the Egyptian situation mm -hmm. and to our private case here at, uh, at this time. Uh, we have, uh, uh, for example, we can take a uh, uh, fast action. Uh, uh, the retirement age is approximately 60. We can, uh, 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 we can issue a statement, the retirement age will be 55 years for the next five years. And that is, will cover. Uh, 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 the, uh, the uh, net income to raise up to 100, uh, 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 1,500 Egyptian bound. The but net income that would expel how many people from the labour market? Yes, that that's the, the depend on, and also will serve. That is will 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 uh, will save to us uh, many uh, places in the in the uh, in the job market, and uh, especially in the government and the general sector, and will help us to fight uh, the unemployment. But from an, economic ex um, from an economic aspect, that could be a, a valid uh, solution to the problem, but from the social aspect, would it be a valid solution? We will, we, we will not, uh, uh, the only, that is not strange. In France, it happened before. It happened several times, and it will be, uh, a transition uh, uh, action. It but it created riots, and right now you're already facing uh, yes. riots yes, and yes. Uh, protests. Yes, but uh, uh, each one must listen to the other and must understand. We are, we are really uh, in a case of chaos, and we are in a real crisis, and we need brains to, to, to find the real solutions on the ground and to, uh, to, to, uh, and to lead the, the country in this crisis. Uh, to, to achieve progress, but if, you, if uh, the protesters 
or anyone will say uh, sorry or no for any solution, actual solution, uh, not just a statement. So that means he, he don't like to, uh, 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 to listen or to understand the real situation of Egypt. And also, uh, we, many times we blame the ex-governments. They are, they are not uh, giving to the nation a clear statement to the people to understand and to share with them and to understand them. They are taking a dictator's actions. But now the people is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, trying to support or ne looking for, uh, for uh, freedom, for democracy. Also, uh, uh, they, sh uh, they should listen well and understand the others, uh, or otherwise we will have, uh, uh, we terminate uh, uh, some dictators and we will have millions of, of dictators, and that will be a real crisis. Hmm. But if a decision is not meeting, um popular approval or many people are rejecting a decision then the government should review it don't you think so anyway if if uh, if you don't have uh, if uh, the government is weak and they can't communicate and explain to the people why we are t taking all these decisions they should leave not should it will be compulsory must leave and we should look for another government uh, can lead the country in this uh, 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 difficult time. So what is the process through which, um, which a government undertakes in order to fix a minimum figure as, the, uh, figure as its minimum wage? For example, what is the process that the Egyptian interim government has um, went, has gone through in order to reach the 700 Egyptian pounds as the minimum wage? Uh, Really, uh, the ex-government before uh, January 25, and the govern uh, two governments later, uh, Ahmad Shafiq government and some share of government, they, uh, they didn't uh, uh, give us a real solution. Because if we would like to talk about uh, 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 minimum wage, 700, that's mean we're still uh, 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 playing with, with the nation silly game. We should go directly, and do we need a government or, or prime minister uh, have his, his own uh, 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 political and the economic vision? For example, we'll take an example. Uh, 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 many countries like Japan, Malaysia, China, Singapore, South Korea, United States, rely on the uh, 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 economics based on knowledge, and that is uh, in, uh, uh, approximately 70% from all these economics and 62% from the uh, uh, US economy. And if we have, uh, if for example, uh, I, we have to ask the Prime Minister how many uh, science bark we have in Egypt mm -hmm. at this time. We are in two, uh, uh, 2011. How many science bark we have? Mm -hmm. We have nothing. So we can't create a future for the people. So it's a, the, the also this uh, uh, problem about the minimum wage will be continued. 700 mean nothing. But do we know what the government did to set 700 Egyptian pounds as the minimum wage? What did they actually measure? Uh, unfortunately, they are looking for uh, uh, traditional solutions to take a loans from the uh, national banks here and to issue uh, 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 some... Uh, finance documents from the Central Bank of Egypt, and all this not actual solutions. That is, uh, they are putting the general budget under pressure. For this reason, I said we have to, uh, to uh, uh, the, the retirement age should be 55 for the next five years only to, to find the real solution, not to, to, uh, to take the, the traditional solutions without any vision, to destroy the, uh, the general budget. So you don't think that the government should even fix a minimum wage? No, they should tell us what is the, the net income, not the, min, not the minimum wage. They should tell us for, a, for the, the, uh, the, uh, the net income will be, for example, 1,000, uh, not 200, 1,500. It should be like that at this time, and, and to reach after five years to be 3,000. Net income, not, not uh, minimum wage. And how wage. different would that be? 
uh, if you will talk uh, about, uh, uh, of course, the, the, uh, the employee will pay, taxes will pay, will pay. That is not the net. So we need net. We don't, we don't need them, them to play with us a silly games like ex-governments. We need to achieve a social progress for, for the Egyptian families. If they are serious, they should tell us exactly the, uh, the net income will be so and so and so. But if they will uh, follow uh, the, the old policies of the ex-government, we we, uh, the, the people get tired. The people need solution. But um, unfortunately, until now, they didn't offer us any actual solution. And do we have any statistics on uh, how many employees will be benefiting from setting the minimum wage? Uh, more than, uh, more than uh, between two and a half to three millions. Hmm. But, but, but also this is not uh, the real solution because also uh, uh, the new government will be come, I think, uh, uh, after three or four days, if they will seek. Uh, uh, the, the finance, uh, Dr. Hazen Biblau said, we will be back to the international bank. We negotiated before, uh, Dr. Samir Adwan negotiated with them before. I advise him, with uh, fully respect to Dr. Peplawi, mm -hmm. I advise him, don't go to the International Bank, kindly look, to, uh, look forward to, uh, to create a kind of investment mm -hmm. or sharing, inter uh, sharing a project, international project with the international community to achieve progress on the ground in Egypt. It wasn't quite a clear statement though. He did not rule out that Egypt would be uh, resorting to the um, World Bank or anyway, the International Monetary uh, Fund. So it wasn't a clear uh, decision. Yeah, but uh, we got tired from uh, the, of, uh, the statement of the officials. We need ministers and we need a complete cabinet to deal frankly with the nation. They, they, uh, now they are uh, uh, the cabinet of Egypt, mm -hmm. not a cabinet of one of the uh, ex-dictators. Mm -hmm. We need to listen to uh, a talk, desire respect. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, in, 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 in Egypt, there is a hundred and thousands of experts in many fields. And we can understand uh, uh, what is going on on the, on the ground. Mm -hmm. so. Do you yeah. think the issue of the minimum wage should be linked to productivity or uh, it doesn't have to be related to the issue of pro productivity at all? The minimum, uh, if we will talk uh, about this issue, the, uh, the minimum wage, we should uh, uh, study well the situation, uh, the, uh, the rent fees for uh, at least the rent fees the food, the medication, transportation, and we can calculate it and we can uh, determine and take the, the right decision. But until now, they are still dealing with uh, uh, Egyptian citizens as uh, we are in, uh, in 1950. I think they forget uh, the government now and the ex-governments forget we are in 2011 and everything is coming to, to, uh, to be more expensive not to, to be cheap. So they, they, they have to create a real economy to enable us to serve our nation, to serve the Egyptian families, to achieve a social progress to the Egyptian people. But with these policies of those people, or, or uh, policies of the officials, not, uh, n there is no, no new visions. They are still looking in the old box how we can find solution they can't they, they unfortunately i'm sorry they uh, they uh, they are not qualified enough to lead as a as a country right now hmm. but do you think uh, it's not only a problem of fixing a minimum wage it's also about the wage structure here in egypt as uh, the basic salary of the average egyptian is only 20 percent of um, his annual income which is very strange because that affects that consequently affects the retirement and the benefits um, of the retirement. So, do you think the whole wage structure system should be restructured once again? Yes, it, uh, it must be. Hmm. Not it should be. It must be. It's compulsory to restructure all the system hmm. uh, regarding retirement, regarding uh, uh, regarding everything. 
until now we don't have a, a system for medi a right system for medication for the people uh, and we, of course we, you know many uh, millions of uh, of, uh, of cases daily uh, they can't uh, f uh, find uh, a medication at least to to serve to save them lives so we need a clear vision economic and political vision until now uh, the government of Dr. Sharif, the old and the new one will come after some days or maybe tomorrow or the after tomorrow, if uh, we can see it. Uh, they don't have a clear vision. They are, st they are still uh, taking a traditional solutions. And I prefer if they can't find uh, uh, or to create a new vision, I, I advise them to leave, to give us a chance. To, uh, to look for, uh, for, for new future. We can't stand more to, f to see Egypt uh, in this traditional way, and we can't stand more uh, to see uh, the progress all every, uh, everywhere all over the world, we're and we're still here. We're trying to offer solutions. We're trying to uh, yeah. present demands and offer solutions and see how uh, this cabinet reshuffle will deal uh, with them. Yeah, but and that is why yeah, but we're here discussing yeah, possible yes, solutions. Yes, we, we are talking money. and we're offering solutions too. Yeah. But unfortunately, they still like the ex-governments. They don't like to listen. We haven't seen what they do yet. Yes, uh, uh, Dr. Sharaf, uh, many months, is, is, uh, he didn't listen to anyone. But there is a cabinet reshuffle now and we're expecting yes, changes. Yes, but uh, also he didn't listen uh, to uh, his listening to the people in the squares. He didn't listen to the experts. And of course, it's impossible to find uh, uh, most, most of the uh, members of the cabinets mm -hmm. over 70. It's impossible to believe over age. Th those people, with, with my fully respect to them, uh, those people can't achieve the, uh, the, the hope of this nation. We need to achieve the hope of... Uh, of, uh, of and don't you think that is a people's demand as well? No, they, uh, they are all interlinked, the uh, uh, people's demands and the experts' opinions. They can't be separated uh, in order uh, to reach a wise decision. The people need actual solutions. But until now, there is no actual solutions. Now, the, uh, if, this, if uh, the, the, the government is strong and the prime minister is strong enough, of course, he, 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 he should or he must select in this crisis a strong member in the cabinet. But until now, the, uh, all the names over age, over 70, of course, they can't, uh, they can't do... Uh, not all the names, we cannot generalize. No, most of them, most of them. They, they can't lead the country, they can't do efforts or, or, ro or roaming ar or, or around the world to, to, to create a new, uh, the new game, it's economic game. And we need very active and young people. And uh, we, we, uh, there is a question to, to Dr. Sharaf uh, himself. Why is this, uh, uh, why is the people uh, go to directly to this revolution? Mm -hmm. To terminate the overage names, to find a new solutions. The situation on the ground is very difficult. No one feel uh, how much, is those, how much uh, those people suffering. No one feel about the problem of the poor people. And w w by this uh, new uh, uh, by this new or the uh, actual government now, no solutions. And the, the people will suffer more and more. We need fast and the clear actions with schedule. But and this is what, it, what we expect from the new ministers. I hope so. But I didn't expect they will do uh, anything. And uh, at least we'll give them a three months, a period of time, three months to see. But uh, uh, from here, I, uh, uh, I will remind you and remind our viewers, they will go to traditional solutions, uh, rely on uh, 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 taking loans to find a solution. But if Egypt uh, went back to this scenario, how would that be affecting the foreign investments? Unfortunately, the, uh, 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 the foreign investment is looking for security and looking for new channels for investment. Now, there is, as they didn't offer to the foreign investors uh, a new uh, files to invest. For example, uh, for example, uh, Egypt will be uh, approximately more than 1 million in 2017. We need a new capital city, for example, in China or West Desert. Did they offer uh, uh, or study this file? They didn't. If they will uh, try to build a new capital city, that means they will open a new channel 
for employment and for direct investment inside the nation. They didn't, they didn't offer should, anything. Don't you think we should not overlook the fact that it's an interim government? We shouldn't expect from an interim government to look for another capital uh, in the year 2017 or the year 2020. We need quick decisions from an interim government. And yes. after uh, a new president is in office and we, when we have a new parliament, these are the decisions that we should be looking forward to. No, that's, that's also a traditional talk. Hmm. We should work in two lines. Uh, the li line for the, for, the, for the national project and the, the first one, the first uh, uh, importance now is to work for the, the needs of the people. Mm -hmm. And the, the second line, it should work. It should, uh, the uh, urgent needs yeah, of the people. Number one, or? this number one. And also at the same time, we should uh, work in the, uh, how, to, how, to, um, how to, fire, to save a new uh, project for, for direct investment. Because this will serve the social situation. Of course, as you know, millions of people returning back from the Arab countries, and we need empl uh, direct employment in, in, a, in a project such as, uh, such as a, a capital, new capital for Egypt will save a million of, uh, of jobs. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 we must go. We, 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 we must stop the crisis inside the, the streets in, uh, in, in our country. So you're looking for long-term projects as, uh, as well to be discussed by this government? Yes. Yes, they, uh, if, if, even if they will, uh, no one will blame them if they will give us uh, a new file for, uh, or many files for many projects. Of course, if the, uh, the second government or third can continue also in the national project. But no one, no one uh, stops them to think mm. or, to, or, to, or to do a small effort for this nation. They are, they are sitting in them offices. What they are doing, nothing. Yeah. Uh, if we go back to the issue of the uh, minimum wage, how do you see this affecting the private sector? Do you think the private sector in the coming period will be looking at appointing people informally in order to, to escape from the uh, issue of the minimum wage? Uh, most of, uh, most, more than 90 percent of mm. the private sector uh, exceeds this uh, 700 pound. Mm. More, more than 90 percent. In the private sector, no one is taking 700. Hmm. It, it m maybe Are these uh, statistics? Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah. But, 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 uh, for example, the tip, the tip boy reach exceed 1,000 pound. Hmm. The tip boy. That's 90% of all employees yes. of the private sector uh, uh, in yeah, Egypt. Yeah, yeah, exceed this. Uh, this exceed um, 1,000 Egyptian yes, pounds. Yes, yes. Hmm. Uh, I'm visiting many companies. The tip boy is taking, is uh, reaching 1,900. 950, 800, so it exceeds this, maybe 10% in a small, uh, with a small company. So probably this decision will not be affecting anyone in the private sector or just 10%. Yeah, yeah. So it is basically dealing with uh, the government. employees, uh, government and employees. And general sector, yes. And these, uh, those who will be affected constitute 2 to 3 million Egyptians. Yeah. Hmm. So it's, uh, it's, it's impossible. But we need, again, the, the net income. If anyone will talk, uh, will talk again about the minimum wage, does mean he's deceiving the people. We, will, we have to, to tell him, thank you very much, you have to go. Submit your resignation now. Mm -hmm. We need uh, a clear statement about the net income. We don't need any uh, games again. Mm -hmm. Because we, need, we are serious to achieve uh, uh, a social progress. Because the situation inside... Uh, 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 the, the Egyptian families, most of the Egyptian families, is very difficult. Mm. And you have to take a fast action mm. regarding uh, uh, net income and regarding medication. Mm. And the education should uh, be in this uh, mm. file too. And it's not only about uh, fixing the minimum wage or the net income, it's also a problem of inflation. Yeah. And how can we deal with this problem in this coming period, even if we have uh, an increase in the net income or the minimum wage with the continuation of the skyrocketing prices and even food prices during the past year have increased 12%. Yes. So even if the net income increased, how can we tackle the issue of inflation? Yes, regarding inflation, that is, we return back to the vision of the government mm. to create a new projects to increase, to increase the, the income of the people, mm. to to, uh, to, uh, to increase the income and to fight the inflation through fixing S prices. No, the fixing prices is, will create a black market, mm. but 
with a uh, free uh, market strategies and uh, 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 but was it ever successful the free market strategies in dealing and tackling uh, the problem of inflation it, it, it's, it's, uh, uh, it didn't success here because uh, uh, we don't have a, a, a clear strategies uh, for, for example and uh, this minister for example uh, one minister is is uh, is believing in the so in the socialism ideas hmm. and is trying to put to put it inside this uh, 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 country and hmm. other one believe in, in the in the free market so they are creating a case of discrepancy inside uh, the, uh, the, this market but if we will take one a clear strategy for the uh, for the open markets and the, and the, uh, and the free markets we will success mm -hmm. and we should put a strategy uh, strategies book to uh, the next government uh, to, to the next 50 years mm -hmm. to the next 50 we should have a plan for the next at least 50 years but that shouldn't be uh, a minister's job. That uh, could be a parliament's job. Yes, until now, until now we don't have parliament. But we didn't lose our minds. Yeah. And we, uh, of course we see the ex-parliaments. It, 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 uh, they wasn't serving us. They are serving uh, the rich people, not the poor people, unfortunately. So the parliament is mean nothing now. And he can't decide it. And we know how the elections, what is going on on the ground. They are uh, uh, buying uh, uh, people to, voting, to vote for them. And that will happen in the next election too. But we need a clear strategy from the experts inside the cabinet. Do you think the minimum wage will push the prices even higher? Uh, the prices uh, 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 is, uh, we are, expo we are uh, exporting. Uh, uh, more than 60 percent from our foods mm -hmm. so we we uh, we have to look the, to the international prices we are importing yeah we are importing mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, and our national project uh, our national product uh, pro uh, pro uh, production is very weak it's not, uh, the national uh, product uh, of turkey is 660 uh, us billion dollars so look to the big difference. We need to reach. We can reach this number, 660, within 10 years. If we will uh, rely on the economic based on knowledge, we can reach. But also we have to ask them how many science parks we have now and how many science parks you are planning to create in future. This is, this is uh, the real... Uh, uh, plan and the real economy uh, uh, we have to create here mm. and we should go to the national project and as, yeah. as the government has uh, fixed 700 Egyptian pounds as the minimum wage do you think we should be discussing the maximum wage as well at this moment no I think uh, uh, of course we, we uh, uh, it, we can talk about uh, minimum minimum wage for example if mm. we will talk about it but we, uh, for, for, for at least to cover the needs of the people. But of course, I can't uh, uh, say that uh, the qualified, uh, there is an equality, be equality between the qualified person and the unqualified person. Of course, uh, uh, how it come? How but it come? there should be a limit for... No, no, no. Uh, that, that means uh, uh, most of the experts will, 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 will leave the country. No. A reasonable limit? There's no such Even, thing. Uh, 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 this this depends on your efforts. If if you are doing more efforts and you are uh, and you achieving success, why should I uh, 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 put you in this limit? Uh, and I will tell you that. Even within governmental institutions, where there should be certain structures for wages. Yes, the government uh, uh, the, in the government uh, the situation is different, but in the private sector, it's open, and also. And the government, for example, if we we'll talk about uh, a, a project like science parks, of course, uh, if, if you have uh, 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 a real scientists and uh, get offering you a new uh, 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 technology, of course, it's impossible to, to tell them you are uh, an, uh, you are uh, uh, 
uh, govern, uh, government employee and your maximum income it should be uh, 10,000 Egyptian pounds. Mm -hmm. He will say to you thank you very much and he will leave and he will take outside more than 100,000 US dollars per month. Mm -hmm. So that means you are killing those people. Uh, Mr. Mohamed Al Alfi, economic expert, we thank you for joining us on thank the you. daily debate. Thank you, thank you for watching.